Woodmont Country Club here in Rockville, Maryland, for the first time hosting the U.S. Women's Amateur Championship, the 120th edition. This is the first day of match play. Had all that rain, more than three inches of rain throughout the week. The hurricane, tropical storm coming through on Tuesday, canceling play. So we made up for that yesterday with stroke play. Today, it is the round of 64. Tomorrow starts a very busy run for those who make it that far. Round of 32 and 16 in the quarters. Semis on Saturday, 36 holes for the championship match on Sunday. So they will play more golf. All tied. Wind picking up maybe a little bit, just about five, six miles an hour when they started. Plays a little bit uphill to the green. And that's a lovely shot. Let's see how Wensler answers. So she'll be first to putt. We draw for Birdie to win the match. She has the read and know it's knows it's not as fast. So she can hit this a little firmer. Oh, great read. She learned right off of Winsler, and she stroked that beautifully. So the Notre Dame sophomore who advanced to the round of 32 last year at the U.S. Women's Amateur Championship does so again. Oh, yeah. Look at that golf shot, Kay. That'll work. Gerard hit a wonderful tee shot here. This for Birdie to go one up. She stayed really still over that putt. Beautiful stroke. Mari Avery a moment ago, second shot at 14. Taking on Michaela Merard. Everything tilts from left to right on this hole. Oh, we knew it had to be good. Oh. It's great. <laughs> I told you it's that portion of the show. One for the highlight reel. Nice. For Birdie to win the hole and go one up. Another one of these round of 64 matches that have gone back and forth, and she's done it again. Boy, three great shots on that tough par four. Birdies have been rare at the 17th today. One up in the match. Very well done. Capitalized on her opponent. Have somewhat of a chance of extending this match. Nope. Remember, she was well right off the tee, played to the left rough, and then there. And that will do it. Mari Avery, 16-year-old from Riverside, California, with a two-up win. Cabani, third shot at the par five. That's a nice visor that she's wearing. You like that? Why do you like that so much, Kay? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice shot, too. In there close and, and walk off with the victory. It's almost right, it's not in the hole. Oh, my. Yeah, that was high and shovey. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She actually lasered the number on this. Mm. Which I think is a new school versus old school thing, but nice little effort there. Going on with it. It's a little downhill, then back up towards the hole. Oh, she gave it a go. Boy, she did. Mm -hmm. Not what she wanted to do. Just no. enough left to have to put that coin back down. And to get in for par first, Karen. I think we've all been there. Oh, 
All right, extra holes. Having to work hard for it, though. Akabani ready to go. This film, 132 yards. And again, it's another little opportunity to get this one close to the hole, but that isn't even hitting the green. Yeah, From no. 132. The last two mm. approach shots. Anywhere close. She will, She's because she's... If she lands it short of the flag, it's going to be landing on a downslope. There is one thing in her favor, and that it is into the wind, and that is the only thing that's in her favor. Oh. Any or good? just do that. Go ahead. Made that look easy. <laughs> she got away with it at 18, scrambled to make par, and how about this again at one? Pretty lengthy putt, what, 60 foot or so, 55 feet? It's getting to be that. I mean, it's right at the front of the green flags, close to the back. And she knows that. Oh, wow. That just <laughs> definitely applies some serious pressure now. Akabani's tee shot at the par three second. And I think now with Akabani, she's had two very poor iron shots into the last two holes. And I think in that situation right now, you stand here, you try and give yourself good rhythm and send the club at the ball. Play. It gives you a chance to kind of set the tone for the hole and give you that opportunity. That being said, in this situation, one bad shot, you know, could mean that you're going home. Every hole that goes past, the pressure just keeps increasing. And that is not going to be easy at all. And her body is going with the lie, the downhill lie. Well, that was pretty nifty. I didn't think she could leave it short. In fact, I would have put money that you couldn't leave that short. Akabani from the edge, lengthy putt. This uphill all the way. It's a little bit of that uh, collar from the bunker to we'll send it a bit. And close to a 50 footer. Ooh. And that's not a gimme. That'll do it. Did it. Closed it out in her fourth U.S. Women's Amateur. It took 20 holes to do it. The two days of stroke play. Isabella Fierro, Mexico, goes to Oklahoma State. Saw Kim a moment ago. This to win. Oh, left edge, and it does go in. Thought it was going to stay out for a moment. Fierro wins the hole with that putt. Meanwhile, over at 18, Isabella Fierro, the 19-year-old from Oklahoma State. This for part to win the match on Regina Kim. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You can't win anything in golf if you miss short putts like that, but most certainly it, that missing those short ones in match play just festers in your head. I mean, what is going through your mind right now? Probably it. Uh, Lots of it, expletives. Not and... arable, yeah. <laughs> back at Euro, back at one, about to play her second. I see that this the hole is hugging the right hand side, and that's an aggressive shot. Uh, beautifully done. Best one up. Kim second at the first, taking on Fierro. Couple of good shots in there. 19th hole of this match. Gina Kim miss, so Isabella Fierro. This for Birdie to win it. And does. Left edge and in. There's the fire. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Took an extra hole to do it. Three punts to win the match with Michael O'Berry. Gonna close this one out. So. 55 seed beats the 10 seed in this one. Four and two officially. 14 to Cole Whiston from off the green, her third. Made it. 
<laughs> See that momentum, <laughs> that show momentum. It sure is. A lot has happened at that hole. Natasha Andrea Oud to extend. And Nicole Wiston has just sailed today. Well, she can say I lost to a chip in, right? <laughs> I don't think that's much <laughs> consolation. I mean, if it goes down to 18, you lose to a chip in. I mean, that's five and four. Almost, yeah, wave, yep, exactly. <laughs> she did she's so solid on those four to six footers third for ruffles Kurt. extremely quick terry going down this hill boy she just just got that onto the edge of the green didn't she that was a touch of class <laughs> wow she needs to land it just past on the right Two up in the match, your opponent long left. It's a good opportunity to keep the foot on the gas. Mm. Beautiful. That'll do it. She looks so calm and collected, like uh like she's done this before. Yeah, she may have. <laughs> so she closes it out over the Jal Mystery. Gabriella Ruffles, the defending champ, 20 year old from USC, going to move on to the round of 32. Kennedy Swan, one up in the match at 16, the par three, 187 today. She's a, a fifth year returning player at Old Miss. Kennedy Swan, two putts to win the hole. Already one up. Need them both. Over Arlene Crowder. Kennedy Swan, couple of putts to win the match and move on. She said she's a an adventure junkie, has gone skydiving in Tahiti, white water rafting in Costa Rica. All Megan Schofield. And she's playing against Maria Fernandez Carriza, who's got a par putt, but it, it's academic because Schofield's going to close out the match. She just realizes it now. So Schofield, the 19-year-old from Auburn, wins it five and four fairly easily. Early finish to this one. So for this match has gone to the 19th hole. Courtney Dow first to play. to left bunker and now that you've seen your opponent end up missing the green really important for her to just get it somewhere on the surface even if it's 30 feet away and we're going to say <laughs> similar shot than what we just saw Makaba missed Hark to win the match Terry, it's the ebbs and flows of this game. I know. And even in an 18-hole match, you'll fight a little bit of fatigue or loss of concentration. You just hope it doesn't lose you a couple of holes. Mm, no. Nope. Time ago, Dow's tee shot. Karen out there. And it was awesome, awesomely impressive. Really nice-looking ball flight. Looked all over the hole from the word go. Oh, terrific. Yeah, just tremendous. Second hole, Courtney Dow to win the match. From the perfect spot to putt from. And does. Good look. Two really good tee shots there and able to make it, close it out, 20 holes. So an upset, at least in terms of the seeds, there. It's kind of Barrero to win it all. We had Maggie Murphy, her assistant coach, in there helping her with the read. And that'll do it. Thanks for the help. Just does fall over the edge. Three and two to win. 
Yeah. Got a chip coming. Back one to 13. Megagane. This to win the hole. Yeah, that one slides in the right side. It's not a bad lie, Terry. It's a, but it is off an upslope, back into the wind, and she can play this aggressive. It looks like it was perched up nicely. It really was. And that's why she was able to, to control that ball so well. She's got 142, and I think this is slightly more difficult because she is on an upslope. Off of an upslope, you get more loft on the shot, takes a bit of distance off of it. You tend to put more spin on it too, so into this wind, she has to be really careful and make sure that she takes that one extra club. Yeah, I'll play this like a 155-yard shot. And this is high, and it looks like the wind's hitting it. Oh, just good. She'll take it. She's on dry land. And wind into. The ball is slightly above her feet, but you've got a very wet fairway. Ultimately, the strike on this shot is so key. If you're a little in between clubs, you better take more club. Oh. That just wafted a bit to the right. Yeah, a, a slight miss hit, and that water is just going to swallow it up. They are at 18, two putts to win the match. That's, you know, sometimes one of the hardest things to do is all you have to do is two putt to win, but showed a lot of maturity in the way she ended that match. So that does it for the round of 64. Every match is completed. The one-off win there at 18. Leah, she'll advance.